Good morning. Um, as he said, my name is Regina Brinson. I was one of the ones that, as we were getting on the gangway, I realized that a very dear friend of ours was still way back on the dock. And I turned around and I said, I got to go get Miss Collada. And I went back to go get her. And when I went to go get her, she said, I can't walk. You're going to have to push me. And I told her, I say, the nurse in me is telling you that's not safe for me to push you. On a walker, you can tumble over. I pushed her about two steps and I realized, I said, I can't do this by myself. So I called my uncle that was already on the gangway behind my mom and I called him and I said, Uncle Bubba, I said, come and help me. And he came back and he helped me. And I said, you hold on to the front of the walker, you pull slowly and I push slowly so the walker wouldn't turn over. And we did. And when we got in the middle of that gangway, I heard a crack. Then I looked and all I remember is releasing the walker and Miss Collada just fell straight down in the water. And I looked up and I said, oh my God, what is happening here? All of us ended up in the water. And the currents just pushed probably about a good 10 of us away from the ferry. It just pushed us and pushed us and pushed us. And I was like, oh my God, what is happening here? And then I realized I saw my uncle. And I said, Uncle Bubba, grab, I said, grab my hand. And he grabbed my hand. But he grabbed my shirt too. And he kept pulling me and pulling me and pulling me under the water. And I kept saying to myself, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I had to take it, his fingers one by one and peel them over my shirt. And I floated back up to the top and I saw his face and I was like, Oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? And he floated by me. I was like, what did I do, Lord? It took everything out of me to just make it to land. I can't even tell you. I was in the middle of that water. It wasn't nothing but God's grace for me to make it to land. And I didn't swim. I did not swim at all. I just, I tried not to panic. And I asked God to give me strength to make it. I knew just to keep my head above water and just move my legs and my arms, and that's what I did. And when I got to land, I just collapsed. I collapsed. I couldn't do anything. And then someone came, and they pulled me up on the shelves, and I just laid there, and I laid there, and I laid there, like semi-unconscious. I just was like laying there for a very long time, and then someone ran over to me from the dock and said, I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse. I'm gonna turn you over in your back and I'm gonna beat you in your back. And that's what she did. And I started coughing and bringing up brown water out of me. Still coughing and bringing up brown water. Could barely talk, could barely breathe. And then I realized, I was like, oh my God, my mom, doesn't know if I'm alive, if, she, if I'm dead or alive. So then I asked her, I said, can you call my mom? And she tried to call my mom, but of course my mom didn't answer. My mom didn't answer because she was hysterical because she didn't know what was going on with me or my uncle. Then I said, the only other person I remember a number at that time was my daughter. I said, call my daughter. 
and they called my daughter and they said, your mom was in the water. She needs you to call Tracy. Call Tracy. Tracy didn't answer because they were all panicking on the ferry. It seemed like it just took rescue them forever. I guarantee you forever. We were on the other side of the island. It just took them forever. I just heard people running by saying, He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Rescue wasn't even there yet. And I was like, oh my God. I kept asking about my, my uncle. Where is my uncle? Where is my uncle? No one could tell me anything. And the next thing I knew, they were transporting me to the hospital. I didn't even know what hospital I was going to. I was just there. I was just there. <clears throat> Regina. It, it, this is so hard because when I first talked with Regina, with Attorney Jackson, the one thing she kept saying, I tried to help him. I tried to save him. She was trying to save her uncle, but in trying to do so, both of them were going down. And she said, I, I, I don't know what I could have did, Attorney Crump, to help. He, he was pulling me down, and, and I knew we both were going down, and she said she had to remove his hand, and she still has nightmares throughout the day about seeing his face. And so the one thing I continue to tell her is this is not your fault, and this is the fault of those who were supposed to make sure that that gangway was safe for people to come and cross it. You are a hero to try to help Ms. Collada and to try to help your uncle Isaiah. So I know you continue to doubt everything about that day, but just know from us and all the community you are a hero for your uncle and for everybody. Yes. And we're praying for you. The community, the country is praying for you. Yes. Yes. Yes.